Hi! From this video tutorial, you'll learn how to install WordPress on your local server using local web development environment. First, we need to download the program that is needed to create your local server. In this tutorial, we will use WAMP server, so please download it to your hard drive. Let's click on WAMP installation shortcut to run the installation. Select the language you want to use, as you can see I choose English and click OK. This is the license agreement window. Here you need to check I accept the agreement option and here you can also read the actual agreement. The next screen contains the information on how to install WAMP server on your computer. You can also read it and then click Next to go further. Let's browse your computer to select where you want to install WAMP server, then click Next. After that, you can change the folder where the program's shortcuts will be placed. Here is the green progress bar, which shows how much time is left before the installation is complete. Finally, you'll be able to select the browser and the text editor to use as the default ones in WAM. I choose Chrome browser as it is more convenient for me. When installation is complete, you'll see the information explaining you how to run PHP My Admin and how to use WAM server. All right. We've finished the installation and this means we are ready to install WordPress. Let's run WAMP server on your computer to see if it works. When the server is active, you'll be able to see the green WAMP icon at the bottom right corner of your toolbar. Here we need to access phpMyAdmin tool to create a new database for the new WordPress installation. Please select the language that is convenient for you and input your database username in the required field. If this is your first encounter with WAN, it is most likely that your username is root and there is no password. You can change these settings later. Now click New option to create a new database. Here you need to fill in your new database name and click Create. Alright, now we have a database and a user with all the privileges. Let's return to WordPress installation. We are going to create WordPress folder in www directory. This is where we need to place WordPress files. Now navigate to WordPress website and download the latest version of WordPress to your computer. We need to extract the files from the archive and then we are copying them to our WordPress folder we've previously created. Once more, let's open WAMP tray. This time we'll open localhost. As you can see, WAMP server is running right now. Type in WordPress after the localhost slash address in your browser address bar and click Enter. Here is the WordPress installation screen. Let's select the language you want to use and click Continue to proceed. Fill in your WordPress database name, database username and password and click Submit button. Click Run the installation button. Here is the welcome screen. We need to fill in all the required fields here. I input my new local site's title, my new username and set the password. As long as my site is on local server, I won't need any complex passwords. Then I input my email address in the corresponding field. At last, I click Install WordPress button. This is the success screen, so WordPress is installed on our local server. Click Login to log into your website. Here we use the same login credentials we've set for our site during the installation process. Now we can tune up our site on local server, that's all. Thanks for watching this video tutorial and good luck with your site!